I'm gonna show you guys a simple feature that I didn't know existed in PropStream that literally saves me hours of time when I'm pulling my niche lists. Let's dive right in. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan Dossi. I'm a real estate investor and my primary focus is on finding off-market deals and kind of building the systems and teams around that, whether they're houses, duplexes, triplex quads, or even commercial type assets. PropStream is the data provider that we typically use for any like one to four units. So houses, condos, vacant land, duplexes, triplexes, quads. Um, I've used it for a long time for a couple reasons. First, super great interface. The second reason being you can actually export out up to 10,000 records a month and it's only 99 bucks. Back in the day, I used to use listsource.com to pull all my lists and they were something like 20, 25 cents per record. So pretty substantial cost savings. Um, I've got tons of other videos on how to pull lists like bankruptcy, expired MLS, potentially inherited, that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna kind of talk about that in this video with what's kind of a no-brainer feature that I've never seen anybody else cover. Uh, let's hop into my PropStream account and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So here we are actually logged into PropStream. Um, PropStream's super straightforward to use. You kind of just punch in like the area that you're looking for deals. So say St. Louis, Missouri. And then there's all these different filters that you can add to kind of pull niche lists to market to, whether you're doing direct mail, um, cold calling or texting, which I don't do, but if you're pulling lists, this is where we're pulling them from. Now, let me give you an example of a typical list that I would pull. Um, so I'm always adding like an equity filter, right? 35 to 100%. And I'm typically also going in and adding in property characteristics, right? What kind of deal am I looking for? Let's say one to four units, I'm looking for one that has equity. And I'm gonna go in here and add in not on the MLS and it's a failed listing. So I'm looking for somebody that, you know, tried to sell and for whatever reason couldn't. Now this is one of like a dozen or more different lists that I might pull. In the past, what I've always done is gone in, built all of this out, click this button to highlight all of them, click add to list, name it what you wanna call it, save it, then export it out when you're ready to export it out. I'd then go in here, redo all of my new criteria, pull a new list, save it, export it, pull it out. Well, it ended up being like there's maybe a dozen lists that I'm pulling very, very often, right? Well, PropStream has this super nifty feature that I never caught. So you see these saved buttons up here, right? MLS, pre-foreclosure, auction, bank owned these are all customizable. So when you figure out what matters to you, so like for instance, on this one expired MLS, I can literally come in here, do saved search, call it expired MLS, and then I can choose to include it on the home screen and swap out one of the others. This literally saves me a substantial amount of time when I'm pulling my data totally free right in there, I don't know, hidden feature or just something I've never seen talked about. I know that you guys really prefer the like, hey, I figured out some new list that we can pull that nobody else has kind of a thing. But in my experience, often, it's just a matter of doing what we know we're supposed to do consistently to get the results that we're looking for. So if you have a couple lists that you pull all the time, next time you're in there, just save them as searches and it will dramatically simplify your workflow next time you're pulling lists. Thank you guys for taking the time to hang out on just kind of this quick little tutorial. Uh, hopefully you're as excited about it as I am because it made my life a lot more simple. Again, my name was Ryan Dossie. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you guys next time.